Hey everybody, Troy Manning. Um, coming back at you tonight. I just wanted to follow up from yesterday and say, wow. Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm not exactly sure how to handle that quite yet, but um, tonight I figured I'd do something different and do a little drawing video since I have the opportunity and kind of kind of get you in alignment with where I'm at in in my belief systems and pretty much everything and and I kind of wanted to go over the two basic drivers that I see um, in everybody's lives so let's go with my two favorites we've got Perception. Eh, I can't spell worth the crap. And manifestation. This one's for my kid. And they kind of intertwine with each other. <laughs> um, I'm not a spelling bee champion, so please don't kill me when it comes to that. But... Okay, let's go back to the basic belief of mine, and that is right here where I perceive everything, the part of me that's me, right? I am the center of my own universe. I can look any direction I want, and uh, I run along this little thing right here, and we're just going to... We're just going to call that time, right? These are right timelines. This is going to get a little bit kooky for some people out there. Maybe it resonates with some of you. But if I don't change anything in my life and I kind of just keep doing the same thing and de keep doing the same thing, I run along it. No problem, no harm, no foul. Um... But, you know, there's the thing called perception. That's the driver for me. And we'll call this worse. And we'll call this side better. Sorry, I've got a little bit of a dyslexia, so I usually get about three letters ahead. <laughs> but we're going to make this just, you know... We'll call this negative, and the further over you get, the closer to H-E double hockey sticks you are. L on Earth. Yeah. Okay? So, and, and these are all relative. I, I want to make that clear, too. And... Relative um, dyslexia. And I just, I guess I better preface this whole darn thing with, uh, I don't have anybody's answers but mine. Um, I can only tell you the way I see things and hope that it sparks something in you to make you uh, maybe just see your world a little bit differently, right? Whether that's good or bad, you, it, it's for you to decide, but um, everything is a perception. Everything is how you're looking at the world. So, say at any one given point in time, I'm right there along with everybody else in this world, right? They're each running their own timelines because each one of these people uh, yeah they're just living their life doing their thing right and the people that are closest to me we kind of orbit around each other you know everybody kind of goes with their tight-knit groups and everybody's always orbiting each other, right? So, maybe this guy right here, 
he's got in my perception right this is just my point of view it will always be my point of view um, say I'm looking over here and this is more positive right this would be called heaven on earth um, H oh yeah but we better not finish that uh, never mind heaven on earth we'll get back to that later in the video but so if I keep working myself up on my perceptive timelines sooner or later I can get there and these people along the way right they just help me to either keep looking up or push me back down depending on this person's current perception of his world right so I can come along and meet this person out here because maybe I had a bad day and I want to go hang out with this guy for a little bit and maybe he's looking that way too because he had a bad day and then all of a sudden we're flung way out here somewhere because we make a couple of bad decisions and we end up meeting this guy who our orbit is either very short-lived or we keep going further down right so we can we can bounce back and go right back to where we started on our timeline if it's just a quick little jump around this guy right and same goes on the positive side so let's just say this little guy right in the middle this is Troy and he's going along about his timeline you know minding his own business doing his own thing and he happens to come across a, a tool on Noah and records 15 seconds of video <laughs> and that point in my timeline I just happen to have the ability to contact say somebody way 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 out here right so I contact this guy and I think you all know who I'm talking about if you don't uh, let's kick on over here this guy uh, blue kool-aid Wow um, to tell you the truth brother uh, the idea that you would take time out of your day to even even put me into a video is just <laughs> surreal to me so that is just amazing um, but the simple fact that I took 15 seconds and you can always change your world with just a little bit so I'm going along and I had the foresight to record it and send it to somebody because I was looking hey maybe I could better the situation for a lot of people if I can keep putting truth out there so I end up coming into orbit with this guy and recap blue kool-aid right that I mean I can't say it enough go give this guy as much love as you can find all of his videos like him love him I don't care but Wow um, just just for a frame of reference right this is my timeline right here I'll I'll put it in terms of good better best worse you know that kind of thing so let's go sub count <laughs> right uh, 48 72 hours ago this was mine um, that little number right there three and it was funny because it does kind of pull into manifestation I, I want to make that clear because me and my 
oldest son, Damien, who you'll meet sooner or later along the way. Um, we got to talking about it, and he said, you should do a video about manifestation because you've been talking about it forever. And it was just something that I'd always kind of throw out there for him, but it made sense because, yes, this is sort of a manifestation. He said, did you know three years ago you were talking about uh, starting a YouTube channel? And I said, oh, yeah, I, I did kind of mention that. And I, I said, wow, wouldn't that be great if we could just uh, start a channel that talks about truth and it doesn't matter what it is. We can just chat and maybe help a lot of people to let go of the lies. And that's a whole different story for another day, but it uh, gets into psychological warfare and programming and things like that. And we, we can definitely talk about that. I have tons of ideas. But back to this. Um, a guy like Blue Kool-Aid, uh, if you haven't looked lately, um, this is his subscriber count as of, I guess, a few minutes ago, 21,000. So for a guy who, to tell you the truth, is definitely on this end of the spectrum as far as, uh, better, um, for a guy with that kind of sub count to take time out of his day and feature me almost in, in, I don't know, two, three videos did you put me in? It was crazy. Just, just to even talk about some guy with three subs was amazing to me. So thank you again. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, we'll just keep, looking that way from here on out because I'm I'm really hoping we can get a bunch of people you know these guys that are closest to me they orbit so I want to kind of bring them with me out here to maybe meet a bunch of really great people and even go higher so if we can start pulling all of these people with us even these people right? We can all move in the same direction. Now, what's on the end zone over here for everybody isn't always the same. <laughs> so let's just go to where my, my best best is, all right? Um, I'm either a pilot who delivers tacos or I will have my own taco uh, truck. Right, I can be a broadcast engineer for right now, but in the end, I'm I'm just a taco truck driver. That's where my heart's at. Um, but it's very specific. It better be on either Oahu or just a Big Island. I'd be happy with that too. So sooner or later, I will make tacos for some of you, and you'll understand why. But let's just go taco truck Hawaii, um, and then. That's where the manifestation comes in. See, this was a dream I had three years ago. Three years ago, I was thinking about starting a channel where I could just share ideas and see, see if some of it sticks with you. And I've kind of planned it out, kind of haven't planned it out, but I just always knew when the timing was right, I would know. And I finally found that spot in time, hopefully, to where we can all start moving towards a better world, a better place. Um, I truly believe that I am coming back again, and we all are. We just get recycled. <laughs> if, if that takes me out of anybody's religious views, I'm very sorry, but I, I do believe that there is way more to this world than to be stuck here for 60, 70, 80 years and be tortured for most of it just trying to get to a weekend so we can live the way we want. Um, I don't think that was 
what God had intended for all of us. So, uh, yeah. So this, I, I just also wanted to make make one point. Um, I am a law of one kind of guy. So this one point in time is what connects all of us, right? And it's our perception as to which direction we can take our lives at any given point. And that always has to do with what's orbiting around us. And so if the things that are orbiting around you aren't pushing you in the direction you want to go, then you might have to change your orbits a little bit and find people, places, and things that, you know, keep your perception looking up. And with that, I think I'm going to leave it, and we'll see what you think of this video and see if it's something that resonates with you. I hope it does. So you guys have a great night, and I will hopefully talk to you in the near future. Thanks again for stopping.